Hi guys, it is March 18th, uh, Monday night, and we're about to stream some more uh, Stories Untold. Uh, so we had lots of problems with the uh, stream cutting out multiple times last time. So I'm actually, I played through <clears throat> the first portion of uh, the House Abandoned game that we, uh, we played in the last stream, but uh, I'm going to redo the ending so that you guys can see it uninterrupted and you can, guys can read the note that was on there and everything. So that's where we're going to, that's what we're going to jump into right now. Basically just like, <clears throat> same game that we played yesterday in Stories of it. Stories Untold, but uh, you'll get to see the ending. As per usual, we will be waiting about 10 minutes for people to jump on in and join the stream. In the meantime, I'm going to go get my coconut caramel coffee. Okay, I'm back. Ark is the first one in the stream. No, I was actually AFK for a moment. I was going to get my, let's see, caramel, what is it? Coconut caramel iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. Mmm. This was my new coffee obsession for the time being. It's actually quite delicious. I just had a Dunkin' Donuts open up uh, a couple streets away from me, so... Yas, and I changed into my comfy pants. Uh, I'll wait until a few more people joined. Well, it's closer to when we're gonna start, and then I'll I'll re say what I said uh, a couple minutes ago in my intro to everybody who's watching this on VOD. What we're gonna do today. I used to, uh, Ark used to work at a cafe and learned how to make a bunch of espresso drinks, so now I'm technically a barista. Ark, live with me. <laughs> if you can make espresso drinks, oh man, that is so valuable to me. <laughs> hey, I cook, I clean, like, I'm, I'm a pretty good housemate. I think so. I do have three cats, so if you're allergic to cats, ooh, might not work out. Who just joined in here? Who's here? I saw somebody come in. Nope. Nobody. <laughs> Street Streamlabs is here. Okay. Is that my Streamlabs? Strange. I've never seen that before. Oh, and I also 
yeah, I sent out uh, notifications on both YouTube and uh, and Facebook. Because I kind of prefer, I don't know, I kind of prefer Facebook for announcements just because I'm not used to sending out announcements over YouTube. That's, I don't know, it's kind of a new-ish thing to me. And I think I heard from somebody else that they don't like it. They either don't like it or they literally don't allow it for you to just, like, send a link to your Twitch stream and say, hey, come watch my stream. Because <laughs> obviously they want you to stream on their platform. But YouTube can go fuck themselves. They can go royally fuck themselves. So this is the last Monday I had to work, like had to work. I'll probably work occasional Mondays, but from now on, Monday's going to be the typical streaming day. Typical. Uh, as well as Thursdays, possibly still Sundays. Sundays are going to be kind of up in the air. I'll try to give like a little bit of notice if I'm going to stream on a certain day. Facebook may be better. People check that more than YouTube. Yeah. If I can get people to get on over to get on over to Facebook. We need some music back in here. We need some music in here. Oh shit, but if I but if it's from a game, I don't know. I did have music in the background of a game that I would be playing that day, and I didn't get muted. So, maybe it's only that you can't play, like, I don't know, actual music music that's not from video games. Maybe if it's from a game, you can, because it's not copywritten. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. Because last time, they, last time I played like a four minute song and they, uh, they muted the last 30 seconds of it and then like seven minutes of my actual gameplay. <laughs> it was stupid. Uh, what could I probably play? Hmm. <laughs> what kind of music could I have in here? We need, I need to look into this a little bit more. I've heard copywritten music music be played before, but I think it has to be a game in the background. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna, I was gonna have, well, I think you should play royalty-free music. Ugh. Is there anything good? Is there any good royalty-free music out there? Where do you find royalty-free music? Eight minutes in. Where is everybody tonight? Do I you Yeah, sometimes I stream on Mondays. There is a few songs I like by Dreamin', I think they are called. Huh, I will have to look this up. Anyway, so what I said um, at the very beginning when the stream first started, basically just for the, uh, the intro for the video on demand people, the YouTube people, was that... Um, what I did was play through a good chunk of um, the house abandoned again because I want to um, I want to re-show the ending of that little text adventure game. No, it's called D Theme Dean Dreamin' Theme. Anyway, uh, sorry, distracted. <laughs> okay, I was gonna, I was gonna, um, show you guys the ending of The House Abandoned without it being cut out. I am now hardlined into my internet, so that should not happen anymore. Um, I should not have any more drops at all. Hopefully. 
so oh look exactly 10 minutes we're gonna start and I actually already have it exactly in place Diamon, Diamonin. Okay, so basically where we're at right now is I tried to look at and do just about everything I thought of importance that I did the original time I played through. Um, with the exception of I did something that I didn't do the first time through, which was go into my sister's room on the happy version of the house. So there's the happy version, the first one that you go through where everything is super wonderful and nice. And um, I didn't know that going into my bedroom was going to end that portion of the game. So this time I went into the bathroom, which when it's the dark house, it's disgusting and filthy and filled with like dead bugs and stuff. And it basically just said, nothing of interest to know other than it's nice and orderly and then I looked in my sister's room and it said um, it's neat it's tidy it's got posters or it's just like it's it says it's just as she left it like it's untouched um, it the bed is covered in stuffed animals and uh, let's see it said her posters had uh, her heroes on the wall and when I did like a little bit more of a specific look around the room there was a wardrobe with the door jar I looked inside the wardrobe there was a pile of photographs on the bottom of the wardrobe and I looked at them it said all of them were identical and that they were pictures of a forest road at night and then I got a little achievement for that so that happened and then basically everything went as usual. I went into my cat. My goodness, cat making noises. I went into my room, found the gift left by dad, unwrapped it, was a computer, plugged it in. And now we're playing the dark version of the house. So I checked out, I turned on the generator, checked downstairs, went upstairs. Or no, not yet. I am in the hallway. I checked the kitchen though. We saw the carcass, we saw the number, which is now written on our wall. So now we're going to go upstairs. You head up the stairs, they creak. Same but different. The, sis the landing has access to your sister's sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. So I was able to... Blah? That's right. Behind the door, a phone starts to ring. Your mind hurts. And you taste iron? That's interesting. Huh. Okay. See, that was, like, that was something I kind of forgot about that happened. And I thought that was really weird. Like, who called the house? And why did our little player character taste iron when we answered the phone? That's very weird. Iron. Capitalized I. Iron. Interesting. Okay, so I want to try to look at pictures. Oh, that's right! The bars on the eyes. Uh, right, the eyes have been scored out. Okay. So we know that our sister's room is completely boarded shut. And the bathroom is absolutely disgusting, so we're going to look at my door. Sorry, okay. Um, how, do, how would I say this? Go to my door. Go to my door. There we go. It's plain and simple and what? Look at my door. The landing has access to your sister, sister's room, your room. Oh, also, if you hit escape, it gives you help right here. Didn't ever hit escape the first time, so this would have been super helpful, like, maybe in the beginning. If it was just, you know, on the screen and you didn't have to hit escape. But look at, go to, use, open, read. It actually even tells you what you're supposed to type to turn on the generator. 
It gives you gives you instructions right there. I didn't even see it. Okay, so <sighs> pictures all over the wall, but something is different about them. Um Go to my room. There we go. The door is bolted shoulders fight blah, 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 blah. Look at lock. Um open lock. You grab the lock. Okay. It is, as we know, 18... No. 1986. The lock clicks open. Sink! Welcome to the chat! Welcome to the stream! Good to have you here. Okay, same but different. Blah, 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 blah. We just unlocked the door. So we're gonna open the bedroom door. <gasps> what? Look inside room. Nope, doesn't know that one. How about look around room? The landing is bare and warm. Photos... How about enter room? What? Enter my <laughs> room. There we go. You enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of the computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 99.99. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. We're going to look at the note again. Every single time, I think, I think, every single time that it mentions the note in the description, you should, uh, you should look at it and read it again, and it'll be something different. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take. Even in this place, it was out of my hands. But still, you punish me. I can be with you now. Jennifer was the sister. There was nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. It has to end now. Oh shoot, I should have looked around the room first. Looked around room. At room. Oh no, it's not gonna let me do it anymore! Shoot, I should have done that before I read the note! What the hell? Look at desk. No! You son of a... Um. Anyway, that is the uh that's the that's the letter. End it now. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. It was all your fault. <laughs> okay. It was all my fault. So, I think something happened to his sister and maybe the rest of his family. But notably, I think it was the sister. It was all my fault. Say it. I said it. Didn't you hear me? Oh, I don't know if you guys were... I don't know if this was a portion that was cut out. But basically, like, I refused to say it to this computer. Like, I refused to type it out that it was my fault. I was telling it to go fuck off and everything. Uh... But I'm not going to mess around this time because it's useless. He's just going to keep telling me to. It was my fault. And apparently, so I think that um, this main protagonist, this this player character um, that we've been directing through the house, uh, blames himself, right? for whatever happened to the sister or the rest of his family. And I think, so originally I had thought that um the player the player character comes up to the bedroom where we the actual outside player are playing this game because this is the light from the door open why is this computer bullying you he's being a giant jerk oh my gosh it's so mean uh but i think on the other hand it was kind of, there's kind of a confusion like maybe there's two of him one of him is sitting at the desk doing all this 
typing in the command it was my fault and controlling the other one because uh, there was like in some of the lines there was confusion as to whether him me me was it me is it me or him the game she was playing is within the games essentially basically computers like subconscious create yeah I lit did you not oh, fucking god dude ah <sighs> I literally just said it. What? Do I, do I have to add the all in there? Finally. Finally is about right. It, it, we needed the all in there. We needed to make sure that the computer knew that it was all our, far, f our fault, N not just partially. partially. But yeah, so after playing it through a second time and um, after thinking on it overnight, I was thinking that um, uh, I was thinking that there's some questioning on like who is who. It's kind of like they were both people, the one playing the game and the one who was proceeding through the game were the same guy. But I wish there were more details about what happened to the family. Like, if, I mean, it's it's anybody's guess what happened. Like, there is a, a dark forest road in the pictures that we found in the bottom of the sister's wardrobe. But that was it. Like, there's no... <sighs> I, I'm assuming that the family's dead because in the letter that he read... It said, now I can, I can be with you now. Um, very strange, very elusive, extremely elusive. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did the, did the stream cut out? It says, oh, she's back. Oh, son of a bitch. Did it cut out? No! Kill person at computer. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. No! Fuck you. Oh, please stop. Don't tell me what to do. It was all my fault. Say it. No. Just say it. No. You can't make me. Just say it. 